Well, hello again, YouTube. Uh, as it says on the screen there, this is a called a Swedish butter knife. Um, I had a viewer uh, mention something about the woodworking videos that I have. This was I did this quite a while ago and posted it a while ago, so I'm just reposting it now with a little narration. Um, it's a an old fashioned Swedish um, butter knife. I'll put a link. Uh, in the uh, description to explain what it is and how they use them and all that but uh, it's a real real butter knife I mean we uh, people use it uh, for just that purpose and um, it was they were handmade uh, back in the day so I figured I'd go ahead and put this post up of this uh, this little woodworking project in the midst of my uh, overgrown uh, yard uh, project but uh, yeah, here I am in the shop. I was cutting it out. The wood that I'm using, the darker wood on either side of the knife, uh, is called paduk, P-A-D-A-U-K, I believe it is. I believe it's an African species. And the, uh, the blade part or the knife part is uh, a cherry hardwood. Um, so, and I'll, I'll shape all that, and um, I'll also make a little, uh, I guess, a little platter that uh, you can put butter on. I've made I've made a few of them and uh, you know sent them to some friends and my kids and stuff like that. Uh, pretty easy project. Uh, doesn't take that long. Just getting the wood and I've got plenty of scraps of wood that I can use to make these things. So uh, I enjoy it. Um, I'm sure back when they did this, uh, you know, back in the olden days, if you will, they um, you know everything was done by hand. I'm, I'm pretty sure they didn't have these nice sanders and planers and all that stuff but uh, I you know I'm not a so much of a traditionalist that I'd uh, that I'd try to do it by hand you know hand file and hand sand and all that uh, you know it's I, I don't see the need for that for what I'm doing this is not going to be some sort of showpiece or anything like that but it certainly is a functional uh, thing and I coat them you'll see at the end I coat them with uh, a product called booze b-o-o-s it's a food grade um, um, oil that goes on these and uh, does a good job we use it on our chopping block my wife uses it on the chopping blocks and stuff so here I'm just using the sander to kind of kind of shape it it's, it's nothing really difficult um, you know I uh, I cut the wood and, and then traced out I actually I kept the pattern uh, for those uh, those things, I've got a lot of patterns hanging in my shop. I got patterns for my uh, I make Adirondack chairs. Um, I'll put up a picture of those at some point. But I make those, and I've got the patterns for all the different pieces that go. Anytime I make something and I think I'm going to make it again out of wood, I I'll create a pattern for it, label it, and hang it up on the shop wall. That make it easy to cut out next time. So yeah, I'm just uh, sanding it down here a little bit, and uh, this, for you folks that watch my latest video of my little shop tour, you can see that the the shop inside looks a little bit different. This area that I'm working in now was actually closed in um, at the time. It's now what I call my porch. Uh, it's, it's like a deck with an overhang on it. Um, that's the main shop through that door and things have changed in there considerably. I've got more tools and different workbench and stuff. But this uh, this area that was once my, that is now my porch was covered over um, and I opened that up and then I added a section onto the uh, the right side of the, uh, be careful Tom, the right side of the uh, shop. So like I said my shop has changed a little bit over the years uh, and I'm sure it'll probably change again. So yeah, here I am just uh, trying to shape it and form it and all that. And I do shape it with this sander. And then the finished sanding I, I do by hand. I just, you know, I use nice fine grit sandpaper and just kind of, you know, finish it up at the end. But not a very exciting project, uh, but very dusty, as you can see. That Paduke wood uh, really, I, I'm... I'm thinking that's Paduke. It's either Paduke or mahogany. Uh, it, it might be mahogany. I'll I'll have to check. Either way, it's uh, it's very dusty wood. You can see see my shirt. It it really uh, really kicks off the dust. But it's a nice looking piece when it's finished. Yeah, I was making two of them, so 
made a couple of them for some friends, I believe. Now you can see there it's kind of shaped and finished. It's nothing fancy, but it's functional. And when I send them out, I uh, I get the uh, the write up that I found online, and I put it on a nice uh, uh, piece of piece of hard paper, hard uh, like cardboard type paper, and I roll it up as uh, kind of like a scroll type thing and tie it with a little ribbon. Kind of makes it look old fashioned and and all that. So that, that's how I present them to people. Uh, with that write-up of the history of the Swedish butter knife and you know how it was made and what they used it for. So anyway, yeah, you can see my shop has changed quite a bit. That area right there, that, I no longer have that chop saw. So that thing, I wore that out and I've rebuilt my uh, my benches and such. So I uh, I changed things around quite a bit. I know my wife is is uh, she and she's funny in the house. You know, with all the little knickknacks that we have and little collectibles and things like that. Nothing nothing real valuable, just things that are nice and look good on the shelves and stuff. And, you know, I'll come in one day and look, and, you know, and then I'll come in a couple weeks later and say, I don't remember that being there, you know. I should be moving things around. I do the same thing with my shop, I change things around and moving around and all that. Now, this area that I'm in now, this is actually the right side of the shop. If you remember when we went in the double doors... Um, to the right was a storage cabinet, and to my left there in that corner was that window that I showed you and a fan. So that that's that part of the shop. That still exists. Oh, it's the whole right side of the shop. So Kind of hard to explain it. And if you saw the other video, you'd know what I mean. I've got my uh, my right knee wrapped up there. I had a, I got an infection on my knee, and I don't know how I got it, but it... I ended up in the hospital for uh, five days. Uh, they had to operate on my knee. They had to do what they call a bursectomy and take the bursa sac out. It was a pretty bad infection. Uh, so I, it, I mean, it's healing up there, but I've just I've, I covered up now. Uh, totally healed up now, and it d didn't affect my walking or anything like that. It was just uh, they had to get the infection out of there. But they had me on uh, some pretty strong antibiotics. I believe it was Cipro. Um, and I was in the, like I said, I was in the hospital for five days with that thing. So anyway, I try to, anytime I get a little cut, I keep a bottle of uh, rubbing alcohol in the shop and Band-Aids or, or uh, Neosporin and hydrogen peroxide. If I get a cut out there, I plus I have a nice roll of paper towels, I immediately wipe it and pour alcohol or hydrogen peroxide or something on it. Try to keep it clean, so... I'm, I was bad about having getting little cuts and just kind of wiping them off with my dirty glove or something. And it, but the knee, I I never had a. Uh, oh, right there, you can see I've got my router mounted on the under that bench. Now I still have that set up. I've taken that little square and I've got it mounted on my. I have a welder, uh, but the welder table is on wheels and it doubles as as that router table. So I just pull a the uh, welder off and then I go underneath and raise that router up and I can use it. So it's a, it's a good router. Um, works good on that little table that I've got. Uh, I think I showed a picture of the, the little uh, cart that I have it on with my welder. So, But anyway, this is I'm just making the, uh, the platter. I guess you call it a platter that goes with these things. That's what I, I send with them. I send a little platter around the edges and finish it up nice so people can use it put put a slab of butter on it or peanut butter whatever you know I mean so like I say it's not a very long video I'll be uh, just rounding off the edges of this real quick and then uh, I'll bring it in the house and I brought two of them in and my wife and I sat at the kitchen table and uh, oiled them up with that booze uh, food grade uh, butcher block oil it's really good stuff uh, you know like I said, it's uh, can use it on anything. You know, she uses it on her chopping block all the time. So. But I do love woodworking. I originally started posting some videos here and there on woodworking, and then I got involved in the uh, the, the overgrown projects, uh, which um, 
I really do enjoy that type of work, that outside work. So I save this this indoor work for rainy days and doing my woodworking. And I've got a couple wood lathes now, and I've got some uh, wood lathe videos posted. I'll try to redo those and uh, kind of dress them up a little bit. My earlier video skills weren't all that great. Of course, they're not all that great now, but they're better than they were. So. I'll uh, I'll repost some of those videos of the woodworking things. I know a few of, few of you viewers have asked or mentioned uh, about the woodworking, and and I do love it. So I love to do all that stuff. I love working with my hands. I love creating things. Um, you know, even if I see a picture of something and then just you know, kind of copy it. it I you know I still like to do it. Um, it's this is not my own idea, obviously, and I don't take credit for that. It's something that I saw and uh, liked and figured I could make that. So, Same with the Adirondack chairs. I love making those. I've made several sets of those um, and sold, uh, probably sold four or five sets of them to people. You know, I had a couple of people that bought two and then they decided they wanted another two for guests to come over and things like that. So, But, I, uh, you know, it's, again, it's not, those aren't my original creations if you will I don't uh, you know I don't claim to be the the uh, author or originator of these things just uh, but I did cut out the wood from scratch and finish it all up so I guess in some ways you can say I created it yeah here I'm just saying it. that platter there that is a piece of uh, um, I want to say mahogany, but I don't think it is. I'm not sure. Oh, excuse me. That is uh, a piece of wall black walnut, is what that is. Um, I'm sure of that. I've got a drawer full of this uh, these specialty woods. They, they're pretty expensive to order. I order them online. Yeah, here we are. Just uh, My wife's on the other side. I was just sitting at the table and using that booze uh, oil to put on them. And... Uh, Get them dressed up a little bit. Send them off to people. Butcher Block Mystery Oil. <laughs> I don't know where we found that. I mean, I bought it on Amazon, but I don't know how I heard of it. I think my wife might have heard of it and uh, told me about it. So Anyway, yeah, this is a pretty simple process. Just spread that oil and, and away we go. So, uh, like I said, I'll, uh, I'm just going to uh, stop talking here and let this run out. It's only a, a few seconds left. But uh, I will uh, try to get some other woodworking videos up here and there and redo some of the ones that I've previously done. So, once again, uh, I thank my viewers for watching and supporting the channel. Uh, if you haven't already done so, uh, go to the playlist on my channel of Overgrown Properties, and I've got a... a uh, overgrown yard makeover excuse me I've got a pretty involved project that I've been working on for a few months now of a home that was severely overgrown so for you folks that haven't seen that um, there's quite a few videos and uh, you might enjoy those it's it really was a, a seriously overgrown property for a, a disabled American veteran that I'm doing for nothing uh, I make a couple dollars on YouTube but I don't charge him anything that's that's not my intent so thanks again, folks, and I'll see you on the next video.